After seven years in youth ministry, five at one church, two at a new church, uh, there was never a break. And, um, and there were great things going on. Students were, were being filled and mission trips were taking place and people were being helped and things were carrying on. But I wasn't carrying on the way that I felt like I should. My boss came to me and he said, I need to know what's going on. Are, are you tired? Are you done? Are you quitting? I, I mean, you look like you've had enough. And I said, I, I don't know if I'm burnt out, I'm just really tired, and um, I'm thinking that maybe God's calling me out of ministry. And he said, well, I'm not prepared to let that happen. Uh, I need for you to be here, these kids need for you to be here, and what you need is a break. And I've got an idea, and if you'll trust me, I'm gonna go make a phone call, and um, I wanna send you on this retreat. And it's about Sabbath, it's about learning to take a break, it's about learning to rest. And for you, it's about reconnecting with God. So the next week I packed all my stuff up and I got clothes and stuff together. I got canvases together and painting supplies. And um, I left completely freaking out. And it took um, a mile to get from the front gate all the way to the main house. And I passed a barn and some beautiful trees and uh, some cattle over to the side and uh, came down a hill. And once you got around the corner, you could see two bodies of water. And just beyond those was the house, but there was this magnificent tree. And from the tree, there was this little swing. And when I saw it, it was like the Spirit just washed over me. And there was this peace and this calm that I hadn't felt the whole time I was getting ready for that. I probably hadn't felt it all summer. And God said, every day we'll meet right there and you're going to be okay. And I spent five days um, waking up in the morning and eating breakfast and spending probably from, I don't know, 9.30 till almost noon painting. And I ate lunch and I spent the afternoon out looking at the water or riding bikes or walking, um, reading and praying and writing in my journal. And I really thought when I went on this retreat, I would have like this huge breakdown I really felt like I deserved. I would be able to cry and just let it all go. And it wasn't about tears and it wasn't about a release even. It was about reconnecting with my God. Since returning from the retreat, um, my whole world did not change. My job was still here and my kids were still crazy and I still had to train counselors and, and deal with holiday madness at a church. And, um, and it was just different all at the same time because I had reconnected with God because where there was tiredness and frustration, um, now there was at least hope that, that I was going to continue to do what God was calling me to do. God's Spirit beckons. There are things to do and places to go. This resurrection life that you receive from God is not a timid, grave-tending life. It's adventurously expectant greeting God with the childlike, what's next, Papa?